Hello, Beanie Baby Besties. How are you? I hope you're having a great day today. I hope you're enjoying this summer weather. Uh, so I have a quick trivia for you today. And then we are going to look at the champion Beanie Babies, the FIFA Bears. What is a baby kangaroo called? What is a baby kangaroo called? Well, I know that one already. Let's get one that's trickier. Let's see if we can find a different one. You would get two points if you got that right. Leave it in the comments if you know what a baby kangaroo is called. Okay, which beanie is a ghost? What is the beanie baby ghost name? Leave it in the comments if you know it. That's another two points. All right, let's look at these FIFA bears. Wait, let me get this scratchy dust off of here. Okay, we have so many. I believe there are 32 of these. These came out in 2002 when the World Cup was in Korea, Japan. Wait, was it in Korea or Japan? What, where was this? The 2002 FIFA World Cup Korea Japan official emblem, the official mascots, and the FIFA World Cup trophy are copyrights and trademarks of FIFA. Right, so Ty is saying that these are not theirs, you know. They all have the same tush tag. This is called a tush tag. Trivia, more Beanie Baby trivia. And then each of their noses is a different flag. This one is Russia. And then the champion bear was retired when that team lost their game. I'm gonna pull all of them out of the drawer. We're gonna look at the flag, say the flag name, and then I'll count them. I, I don't know how many we have. Here's England. This one, Nigeria. That's the Nigeria flag. We have Russia, Nigeria. Here's USA. This tag isn't in great shape. I looked up the values real quick and what I saw was USA was the most common. Most people had one of those that was pretty normal. And so he's worth about $6 now. It's probably what it was to buy it back in 2002. Also, I'm assuming but so many people did such a good job collecting these sets. And this fur is so soft. Okay, who knows what this flag is? Senegal. Okay, here's the one that is probably maybe a little easier to know which flag it is. It's Germany. There was a song Gosh, when was the last FIFA? Right now it's women's FIFA. So I'm, we're pretty excited about that. But there was a World Cup song not that long ago and they went through all the countries. So I was gonna try to make a video of all the bears in order, but it went so fast. It was just too hard to do. I just couldn't do it. Here it is, Korea Republic. We've got Uruguay. Belgium. I think I also have a buddy of this too. It's so soft. It is so soft. Who knows this flag? It's France. Argentina. Take a look at this one. You might know this. It's Italy. Here's one. You might know Focus. Do you see it? It's Mexico. I'm not sure if I'm saying this one right. Do you know this flag? Tunisia. Tunisia? Tunisia? 
Uh, let me read what it says inside of here. It says, Tunisia reached the 2002 FIFA World Cup Finals with a 3-0 to zero win over the Democratic Republic of Congo in Kinshasa and the failure of the Ivory Coast to beat Congo. Do you know what? I wasn't reading the other ones of these. Let's look at this fun fact, this random one in front of me. This is Argentina. And it says Argentina has participated in 12 of the 16 FIFA World Cup tournaments. 1930 to 34, 1958 to 66, 1974 to 98. Argentina hosted and won the finals in 1978. They won again in 1986 and placed second in 1930 and 1990. Argentina. All of their swing tags have those fun facts on them. This is tons of FIFA history. Okay, here I'm gonna show it to you and you can guess. Do you know this flag? Can you see it real good? Saudi Arabia. Okay, take a look at this flag. This one is Ecuador. Who knows this flag? Paraguay. Here's a guess. Do you know this one? It's Spain. This is Portugal. Here we have China, Sweden. Now, these are in no particular order. I'm just taking them out of my drawer this way. They have their own drawer like this here. This is how um, the lady that I got this collection from kept them and she collected them. Okay, take a look at this one. Who knows this flag? It's Japan. You know, I was just thinking of Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory when he had the Fun With Flags YouTube channel. Oh, hi, Cersei. This is my little baby kitty. Hi, Cersei. Say hi to our beanie baby besties. Hello. Here is, it says, the Republic of Ireland. Take a look at this one. Who knows it? It's Denmark. Hi, Cersei. This one is Cameroon. Slovenia. You know, I'm wondering how many of these countries are still called the same thing that they were back in 2002. That was 20 years ago, 20 years ago. These have their own special hang tag protectors. This goes over the whole thing like that. I don't use them because I wanna open it up and see the flag. Yeah, it doesn't say the country on the tush tag just this swing tag. And this is Croatia. This one, Costa Rica. Take a look at this flag. South Africa, South Africa. How about this one? That flag is Turkey. This one? Poland, Brazil. Who knows this flag? It's USA. I have a little card in here. It says, oh, okay, this is gonna answer some questions for us. Collect all 32 Thai collectibles, international soccer champions, opening ceremonies, May 31st, 2002, Seoul World Cup Stadium, Korea, and closing ceremonies June 30th, 2002, Yokohama 
International Stadium, Japan. And look at that. It's all the flags. It's a checklist, so you could collect them all. Wait, is this 32? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. It sure is. That's all 32 flags right there. So I could put those swing protectors back on there and not have to look at their little info sheets. But the other thing that I was worried about with these is that in, um, with some other heavy swing tag protectors, the red barb will get real brittle and break if it's too heavy. So that's something to consider too. Should I put them back on or not? Maybe for now. Oh, do you wanna see the buddy? Do you wanna see the champion buddy version of this? Oh, do you wanna see the buddy? Do you want to see the champion buddy version of this? So that's how that would go on. It's not a great fit. There's a lot of extra room. It's so heavy on his little ear. I don't know. I think I'll leave it off. I found it. It's a USA buddy. Oh my gosh, this one has a different swing tag holder too. I haven't seen one of these before. Check this out. It's a circle and you open it from the top. Wow. Look at that. It says United States. The United States has participated in five FIFA World Cup tournaments, 1930, 34, 50, 90, and 94. The best finish by a U.S. team in the FIFA World Cup play was third place in 1930 tournament. In 1950, the U.S. enjoyed the most celebrated FIFA World Cup moment with a 1-0 upset win over England. And in 1994, many people were surprised when the U.S. was asked to host the 15th FIFA World Cup. FIFA! Champion! Buddy! Maybe. I don't know if all, if all the countries had buddies or just USA. I don't know. But he is so soft. He's just like the, this, the softness of these. Oh, I just love it. Okay, I'm going to put them back away. Let me know your favorite. Let me know who your favorite was. Wait, let's count and make sure we all have third. We have 32. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's another tip about how I store them. I put them front, back, front, back. Actually, when I got them, she had them all like this. They sit like this in the drawer. See? 32, 33. Okay, we have 33. That pans out because we had two USA. One was in mint condition, one was not. The rest of the collection though is all in mint condition. And then our body. Okay, so drop me a comment and let me know how you did in this game. So which beanie baby is a ghost? And its name is Spooky. Spooky's the ghost. So two points if you knew that one. Two points if you knew our first trivia, which was, what's a baby kangaroo called? It's Joey. And then one point each for each flag you knew. Well, I wish the bestest luck to the women's FIFA team down in Australia, I think they are, maybe New Zealand. And these guys are, these bears are going back into hibernation.